she has ways to get rests. And it's it's like if Jigglypuff gets one rest, she can play super defensive the whole game. Was that Stitch? I don't think it was. Um, but she gets one rest that can just camp out the entire game and just play to that. That being said, it, the Peach will have to put in work, but we've seen Peaches put in work to t to handle this matchup. Hello, it is me, Smokey Blunts. Hey. So how's it going over here? Um, well, we're entering uh, this battle, which is going to be Peach versus Jigglypuff, which on the one hand I was saying is uh, pretty bad, to say the least, for Peach. But two weeks ago we saw uh, Toussaint actually get knocked out by uh, chess. Yeah, miracles happen, right? Like, yeah. so, um, this matchup, so I'm of the belief that this matchup is a lot better for Peach than I think a lot of people think it is. Um, now, Big Kid is very good, um, so, like, that's, and so is Thumbs, I think? If I'm, if I'm remembering his face correctly, I played this guy, and he knocked me out at, uh, the last Westchester I played at. Okay. So he's he's really good himself. Um, so this should be actually pretty good. Yeah, one thing that I'm, I love to watch from Big Kid is when he goes for the nares. You know, because he's throwing out this back air, back air, back air. And then when he, th just like the way he chooses his timings, it's a lot riskier to go for nair, but it's just faster he can turn around and possibly open up uh, thumbs. We've seen I it a few times. So, uh, the thing about doing that, like, probably why he doesn't do it all the time, it's a really good, uh, like, kind of haymaker, and it's really good when used, like, sparingly. It's out of stitch. But uh, Peach can trade with it a lot. Yeah. So. And at well, this percent, that's yeah. it's going to kind of be what I think they want. It's not a great option, but, like, when he goes for it, mm -hmm. it usually works. So it's like, why did he go for it at that moment? It's very, oh, is that the odd eyes? Like some knitting going on. So they're actually still pretty evenly matched. Um, Thumbs took a lot of percent there. It was like real quick. Yeah, and percent matters a lot. Yeah, because in these floatier matchups, yeah, they mean so much. Like, we usually don't see timeouts in melee, but like if you look at the clock, it's 538. Technically, if the stocks kept going the way they were going, at the very least, one of these guys could play to the lead. They yeah. start to run away, and then the other guy, they'll be forced to approach in a panicked way. Well, we're even seeing that kind of play out because um, now that Thumbs has the percent lead, he's doing a lot less of the approaching than he was in the past. And right there, like, the Nair is actually, he was unsafe on hit. He got punished for the rising Nair. Ooh. Liking the aerial movement from Big Kid for sure. I'm kind of curious... Um, because I, I, I found Thumbs to be a very optimal Peach. Um, I'm very Ooh. curious as to how he feels about using some of Peach's uh, less popular moves in this matchup. Like F forward smash, I think is actually really good in this matchup. But, you know, you have to be able to pivot. Um, it's a really good anti-air against uh, Puff. Ooh. I think. That was a fantastic crowd cancel. Getting the down smash right after it. Mm. And... It seems like nobody's able to really run away with a stock. Yeah, um, it's for the story has kind of been, and I know this has only happened twice, but Big Kid taking the first stock, um, getting like 30 to 40%, and then uh, Thumbs finally getting the stock there. So, And then as soon as they get back to even footing, yeah. they trade the lead back and forth. Uh, very, I don't know, it's very patient play, and it's very sort of fluid. Yeah. But nonetheless, you can see how they both are trying to, like, adapt to the opponent. It's because it's a lot of the same movements without really going in. So you have a lot of time to, like, decide, like, all right, how am I actually going to beat this? Am I going to use, like, this little bit of movement and, like, get around it like that? Am I going to do this? So. And we were talking about a certain, like, way that those stocks were going. This is actually huge. The yeah. fact that he has a lead. Not only did Thumbs finally take the first stock, but he's only at 85%. And this is the sort of situation where if he plays to, like, I don't want to engage, it can work out really well for him. Because yeah. then Go like, Big Kid has to, like, it's just hard in general to approach. Mm -hmm. And so if he's the one forced to do that, and especially if Big Kid, or sorry, Thumbs can avoid the kill moves. Peach in general is a character that thrives in the lead just because of how often she trades. This is like one of the matchups where it's like at its worst, like where uh, 
like, it's really hard for Peach to even just, like, steal, like, keep the lead when she has it. But it's still, like, one of her core strengths, so she can kind of still do it. Um, we're seeing it coming out of Thumbs, like, he is staying a lot more back. He is, like, look at him just, like, staying at the edge and waiting for for Big Kid to come in. Um, I think Big Kid needs to play the way he was playing the whole other seven minutes of the set, and... Yeah. Another thing is that before he was doing a really good job of avoiding the turnips, but I've actually been seeing him get hit by a few. You know, especially if you start to get more eager to get in, mm -hmm. that's when those projectiles become a huge nuisance. It can even set you on tilt. Yeah, that eagerness is is it's not doing him any favors. Are Amazing. You kidding me? Amazing. That's I, I, that's one of the things that um I think Big Kid is best at, where it's he's he's incredible, incredible at like Getting these soft hit nares into that was he shielded it. I thought. Uh, so I don't I know. I thought he shielded that and caught him dropping shield with the rest. No, I think he think he really? nared into shield, and I'm pretty oh, sure that's a like like a true combo. I know that like weak nair to rest is true on uh, on Peach and the floaties in general. So if that's the shield came out, it's possible that it was also a uh, ADT. What is ADT? Analog digital transition. Um, so, when you press your shield button, if you don't have, if you still have your trigger, um, if you still have the springs in your thing, the clicking, in between the clicking, there's two frames where your shield is not up. In oh. the tr in the the transition between analog press to digital. So. Yeah, and I actually said before that, like at the end, we saw how the rest became a clutch factor. But if you if Jigglypuff lands a rest like she did just there, that means that. That means that now uh, he can absolutely play to this lead on a, even on a smaller stage, like uh, like Yoshi's. He can run away with this. Yeah, getting this early lead is uh, it's it's way too powerful. Like like Peach with the lead in this matchup, all right. Puff with the lead in this matchup, uh, like right from the get. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like all right. Like it's it's not that big a deal. That was a great up air. Um, it would have been sick if it killed for him. You know. But yeah, I think another one of those up airs anywhere, anywhere on the stage is gonna take care of him. I am. Yeah, okay. switch out. All right, I'm gonna be hopping off quickly, and I think we're gonna get a replacement for me. All right, dope. Um. Yeah. All right. So, oh man, he is he is just stretching out this lead. So zero to zero stocks. It's not too bad. I, I mean zero percent to zero percent. Like, I'm I'm sorry. I said that's not too bad. It's actually terrible. I was thinking in yeah, the mindset of, an, of of a <laughs> different of a, matchup of a, of a fox. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think of it as a fox, and you're like, oh, I've seen a nair up to up there. I, I could get in this game, but Peach, nah, you gotta go through a lot of work. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, floating matchups are different. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah. It's a different game. It's, it's <laughs> but yeah. I honestly feel like this is this is a really tough stage for Peach. Because Puff Puff just gets you in the corner way easier and her back air is so threatening and you don't have room to pull the turnips. I actually think Peach like kills it kind of reasonable percents on every other stage as well. It's just that like getting the hit is what's hard. Yeah, for sure. So, I don't even know if Yoshi's is all that technically necessary. I still go to Yoshi's when mm -hmm. I play Peach first buff because comfort, but I don't know if it's actually the right choice. I kind of like I kind of like Pokemon a little bit. Yeah, because you got the low ceiling, and then yeah, you have the low ceiling, and um, you have more room for the for the turnip like mm -hmm. game, yeah. and like the transformations usually means you'll probably pull a stitch. <laughs> and the turnip game is really what gets you those hits, right? Yeah, like, so it, it's it gets you so far in the matchup. Can you believe? So when I started playing, Peaches did not know to use turnips in this matchup. Yeah. <laughs> You just didn't use turnips. I think, I think one, like, one, like, when you're, like, a bad peach, like, really bad, like, horrible, you don't use turnips at all. <laughs> and then you realize that, hold up, if I pull a turnip, I'm in such a good position. <laughs> well, if you have a turnip, yeah, not if you, if you, yeah, 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 if you, you pull have a turnip, you're in yeah, a bad yeah. position. If you have it, you're in a good <laughs> position. Like, But yeah, this is the this is it's gonna be really hard to do. Yeah, I saw him shark sharking for a little bit of up airs. He can get one in like that position, like yes. right there when he does that initial jump. But 
you know? It's rough. It is rough. Like, it's not I, so easy. I like this matchup as Peach. Yeah? Um, yeah, I think a lot of Peaches don't abuse, like, uh, lots of good, like, pivot uh -huh. forward smash stuff and, like, pivot up smash stuff. Um, even pivot F tilt is, like, good situationally. Yeah, that's, that sounds like it would be good. Um, I've been, I've seen sub float. I've seen people talk about how sub float could be utilized a bit more, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of interested in how that's going to work out. I, I feel like when I lose the matchup,